In our country, there are many different kinds of factories making many different kinds. In factories, people work together at machines to make many of the products that help us live better and easier. The products made in a factory take a great deal of planning, preparation, and work on the part of many people. Let's visit a typical factory. In this toy factory, millions of toys are made. Toys like these honey bears, musical clocks, toy guitars, and merry-go-rounds. But now, let's see how this factory plans for and produces a new product. Let's see how a factory works. This is the factory's planning board. These men plan or decide what the factory shall make. At today's meeting, a number of ideas are presented. One man suggests that the company manufacture a jack-in-the-box, and he draws a rough sketch to show what it might look like. Then the idea is improved upon. Why not make a jack-in-the-box with music? A kind of jack-in-the-music-box. Sketches of this idea are sent to the experimental department. A worker in this department makes a sample or experimental model of the new toy. This is what the jack-in-the-music-box will probably look like if it is finally manufactured. The model is now taken to the art department. Here, an artist makes rough sketches of pictures that may be used to decorate the outside of the Jack in the Music box. Then he takes his sketches and the decorated box back to another meeting of the planning board. The men on the planning board check the completed model. <coughs> they look over the sketches, deciding which ones they want to appear on the new toy. The Jack in the Music Box is finally approved for production. Engineering is the next step in the production of the toy. In the engineering department, highly trained engineers plan exactly what parts will be needed and how the toy will be made. They also design the tools that will be used to make the parts for the toy. The engineering department's plans are put onto blueprints. The head of each factory department will read these blueprints and be able to tell his workers what to do. One set goes to the tooling department. Here, tool and die workers make the machines or tools that will be needed to manufacture the parts for the toy. Here are some of the tools being made. Another set of blueprints goes to the purchasing department. This department will buy the raw materials, the cloth, springs, metal sheets, and other things that will be needed to make the new toy. Finally, extra workers must be hired to do the work. The man in charge of the personnel department 
is interviewing a woman who wants a job. The raw materials to make the toy arrive at the factory. Steel tubing. Coils of wire. Strips of metal. And the many other materials that will be needed. Workers arrive at the factory to do the many different jobs. Now the tools have been made. The machinery has been moved into place. The parts for the jack in the music box are coming off the production line. This machine is called a shearer. It cuts off strips of metal for the body of the toy. This automatic punch press is finishing the chime bar for the jack in the music box. The chime bar makes the music. This coil of wire is fed into another punch press. This press uses a piece of metal called a die to cut off and form cranks and axles for the new toy. Now the parts have been made and the workers are ready to assemble or put together the jack in the music box. This is the assembly line. Each worker here does one special job, adding her part to the toy as it passes along the line. Let's start at the beginning of the assembly line and follow the process through. This is the first assembly operation. This woman is using a machine which bends the flat metal sheets into the can body that will be used for the jack in the music box. The cans move down to the next worker on the line. This worker joins or rivets in the parts that make the music. This is what they look like in place. This girl puts on the crank and the rubber belt that make the music parts work. Then she checks the music making part of the toy. Another worker places a cardboard tube containing the clown's suit inside the can. And still another worker operates a machine that puts the top and bottom on the can body, curling the edges so the toy will be safe to play with. Now the clown's head is made ready for the new toy. A worker glues a hat on the head. Then the head is attached to the long spring that will make it pop up. The spring, with its head, is placed inside the suit and the cardboard tube. The suit is clipped around the clown's neck and the toy is tested to make certain that it works right.
Finally, the completed Jack in the Music Box is placed inside a cardboard container, ready to be sold to citizens. This is the sales department of the factory. The toy is being sold, and orders are coming in. Here is an order for 36 dozen. Shipping containers filled with toys are loaded into railroad cars. Trucks are loaded too. And the toys are sent on their way to hundreds of stores everywhere. You have seen some of the steps that must go on in almost any factory in order to manufacture a product. First, the planning board plans the product. Next, the experimental department and the art department make the first model. Then, the engineering department designs the parts and tools needed raw materials, and workers come into the factory. Now the parts are made on the production line. Next, the parts move down an assembly line and are put together. Finally, the product is shipped to stores all over the country. From factories come a great many of the things that make life better, easier, and more fun for all of us.